Do you see a strategy, uh, an approach to helping us get out of the nightmare that's quickly becoming Afghanistan? Is there any particular? No, no, get out. Okay. Get out. Get out and apo po apologize to the people there and, and offer our help to rebuild uh, when they can get themselves, when they can finally work out their own situation. But um, we have no business invading another country and being in another country. The only business we had after 9-11 was to capture the criminals, and that's what they were. They weren't another country declaring war on us. We elevated these thugs to the status of being a nation. Can you believe that? The people fell for that? You know, they, they're criminals. They killed 3,000 people. They should be brought to justice. End of story. We have no business being there. And let me tell you something. Anybody who might have been responsible for 9-11 ain't there anymore. So I don't know what we're doing there. Um, it's, it's, a, it's just another mess. The fact that President Obama has taken it on as his war is, is just, it's the Nixonian version of Vietnam. That was Lyndon Johnson's war, and Nixon decided to own it as his war. Um, I appeal to President Obama to come to his senses on this and, and bring the troops home and do what we can to work with other countries to help uh, bring about peace uh, in Afghanistan. Yeah, let me second that. Having spent this last year and having been to Afghanistan, it's- And you truly, should know of all people. It truly breaks your heart on an emotional level. It makes no sense on a security level. And politically and strategically, it's gonna be a disaster in the 2010 elections when there's no money for jobs, no money for homes, no money for health care, but there's billions of dollars uh, to bomb people who didn't attack us in Afghanistan.